does size matter? Well, that's a little bit of a personal question, but when you're sticking it in the hole, and by sticking it, I mean pieces of coal, yes, size absolutely does matter. What's up, guys? This is Heiss, and today we've got another little bit of a scientific nerdy deep dive. We're taking a look at what is the difference in work for the firemen based on the size of coal? Last time we looked at how much coal 491 burns versus 20, a bigger engine versus a smaller one, pulling the same train. This time we're going to compare 491 to 491 pulling the same train with equally experienced firemen, one firing with proper coal, one firing with what is basically black flammable dirt. Just so everyone knows what I'm dealing with this evening. Hopefully that shows up. A little actual coal up there that I'm trying to save for tomorrow, but I've been firing with nothing but slack all night, so it's been fun. Here's where the coal doors are. That's how far back in the pocket I am. So yes, please. Yeah. Fun. Now I wanted to do this because last year during Polar Express at the Colorado Railroad Museum in Golden, Colorado, my fireman, Dusty, one of my best friends, decided that he was just going to try and burn through the tender full of slack. We call the, that dirty coal that's just very fine slack coal. It's kind of the, the stuff that ends up at the bottom of the pile as the pieces of coal break, because coal's pretty easy to break down. Dusty decided, hey, I'm gonna fire with this. It'll help get rid of a problem that other people are complaining about. I'll have to shovel some more, but it's no big deal. We've always felt like it takes more effort by the firemen to actually burn that coal and you have to shovel more, but how much more? Or is it more? Do we know? Or is it just one of those things that you, you feel and isn't actually true? Well, so I had footage from when I fired last puller, one trip, and when Dusty fired with the slack, and Dusty and I both do a pretty good job of firing just about the same way, we'll both tell you that. And so, it's not a perfect scientific test, because it's not the same exact crew, and the train might have been a little bit faster or something, but it's gonna be close enough to show a broad stroke difference. For those of you playing along at home, this is the coal I voluntarily did not shovel into the firebox so I could burn through more slack. It's because Dusty's a good person, everybody. <laughs> Shoveling about twice as much as I normally do, just because slack. The square cube law is working against you in this case. Recall from videos like Firing 101, talking about coal firing in general, that we like baseball or fist-sized pieces of coal, not the dinosaur egg that you saw in the thumbnail. Like, that thing is, like, you you could, you could probably not even fit that through the fire door. But uh, those pieces of coal do happen every now and again. So we tend to try and bust them up to about, you know, fist size, baseball size, somewhere in there, ideally. Sometimes a little bit bigger pieces are nice in the places you can't see, so you know that they're good for a while. The little itty bitty pieces of coal, the slack coal, is not ideal because of the square cube law. What does that mean? The square cube law is talking about as you make something bigger, the amount of area on its surface, its surface area, increases squared exponentially, so you're multiplying the, the two things there, like an area, and the volume, the amount of stuff within, scales with the cube, so an extra factor in there. So as you get really big, you're getting a lot more stuff on the inside for the amount of total surface area. And the reason this is important is because combustion happens at the surface, 
you need to have air that touches the surface of the coal in order for it to burn. So if you have a lot of surface area compared to a small volume of coal, it's gonna burn a lot faster than a big piece, which is gonna sit there and burn nice and slowly or at a more controlled rate. So that means that this slack coal is burning up real quick and needs to get replenished more often. But how much more? Let's take a look. So I went through and I counted all of the scoops of coal that Dusty fired with slack and all the ones I fired with the normal coal. And over six laps, which is three miles at the museum plus two station stops, uh, while running, I fired 30 scoops of coal and Dusty fired 49. That's two thirds more the amount of work that you have to do as a fireman. The slack coal still weighs about the same as the big lumps of coal, because you get the shovel full of dirt, it's pretty similar in weight, which means that Dusty had to use significantly more fuel and do a lot more work as somebody with the dirty slack coal than with the proper lump sizes of coal. So coal size really does matter. Make sure you're using the right size of coal for your application and for your engine. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked a little look at does coal size matter? And uh, if you wanted to watch the whole footage of Dusty and I, including me screaming the lyrics to Jackson 5 Santa Claus coming to town um, in beautiful falsetto, <laughs> Uh, join the SD Firemen or above, and uh, you can watch that. It's out there on the channel for members. So, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch y'all next time.